Sure is pretty up there, then. It's white. Oh, careful, honey. Don't skid. Don't skid. Boy, these roads are icy, aren't they, huh? Anyway, to finish this story. The captain turns to me and said, you know, take these two men back to regimental area. I said, well, okay, that's all right, sir. I said, what do I do? He said, you know what you are? I said, no, sir. He said, you are now an ambulance driver. I said, what? An ambulance driver? <laughs> me, Harry White? I said, I get sick when I see a bandage. <laughs> well, I'm going 20 miles out of my way, but I don't mind taking you fellas back to the rear. You could have been sent to the front. Front? What front? Harry White at the front, I'm strictly rear echelon. Well, you're going to the rear, ain't you? At least you're going to get some hot chow. Hot chow. I got something waiting for me at the depot that make a two-inch steak smart. <laughs> Boku. Yes, yeah, so Boku. Local, but Boku, you know what I mean? Enough to set a man to worry him. Why should you worry? She'll wait for you. What makes you think she'll wait for me? It's a sense. You're a Boku guy, ain't you? <laughs> that's very good. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's very, very good. <laughs> What are you looking for, soldier? Crowds? <laughs> Ain't no crowds around here. No, the front's way behind us, friends. World War II is way back there. An American Lastwagen, Lieutenant. An American Lastwagen, Herr Hauptmann. Combat. Starring Rick Jason. And Vic Morrow. Guest star... Mickey Rooney. Safe? It's my good conduct medal, fellas. Here. Here, man. Sergeant, sound the trumpets. Real heroes. Purple Hardies. Give them the best. They deserve it. He's a real social director, ain't he? Yeah. The draft board's been having a real hard time these days. Oh, Sergeant. Hey, hey. Sergeant, use that skip now. A hot showers while we're here? Sure. Clean clothes, too. I'll give you a requisition. Well, thanks. Fine. Hey, Sergeant, how's the action in the town? Uh, second thought, skip it. I mean, you and me, we don't have the same taste. <laughs> That's life. What was that you said again, Sarge? That's life? Oh, what wisdom. Wait a minute, let me mark that down and put it next to my heart. That's life. Wonderful, yeah. Well, that's the way it goes. Men, have a good time. You know, Sarge, you think I'm a loud mouth, don't you? Well, you know, you're not far wrong. I, I am. You're right. Well, I'd like to bid you gentlemen welcome to Buford's Thrift Shop, Bathhouse, Steam Parlor. And from the looks of things, you fellas need the works. Especially you. <laughs> Got your requisition? Go ahead, keep anything you want going. I don't have to move here. I'll take a piece of it. I'm watching everything. That's 240 to you, right? Okay, Shai, 20 percent. Put it down there. All right, anybody can make a mistake. Wait a minute. 
Don't get mad, don't yell, don't yell. You're not mad, are you? No, I'm not mad. All right, fine, excuse me. I thought you were mad. You may be here till the end of the war. Look at this. Stare at him. Eleven! You got something? Don't touch him. You're allowed to get poisoned. They're diseased, man. Put it all down there. Cover any part of it. You're not mad at me, are you? No, I'm not mad at you. I was worried. I was worried. What do you say? Ah! Look at that. Another one. It might, and this might be the one, sir. Hey, you look pretty sharp. How do you feel after your cold shower? It turned out to be a hot one. Yeah, well, if you got connections, you got connections. Listen, you want to get into this thing? Put in a couple of bob and see what happens. Here they go, friends. The lights are going out in the ballpark. Yes, that was 11. Put it in there. Men, I said put it in. I love it. Pile it high. Pile it high. That's it. Keep piling it high. That's it. Don't take any. Leave it. Leave it. All right, let's go, Harry. Roll it. I got to get my money back. Now roll a dice. Watch it. Watch it go. Oh, listen to the chimes. The ring. Ah! Oh, that was Look at it. You never saw anything in your life like it, did you? Sure make a lot of naturals. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It is a lot of passes. <laughs> you know what? You never want to overdo a good thing. Wait a minute, Harry. You, you can't go. You can't go bring up the game this way. Just stay right game. here. You, you are going to leave. Leave the money. I got money in this game. Game. Money. Money. All right, all right, all right. Quiet down. Look. All right. Okay, okay let's go. I'm going you're, you're covered. One more throw. Okay? okay? This is it. Put it right down in there. Huh? Huh? One for the road, as they say. Oh, what was that? We just got the end of the ball game. Little girls waiting for me. Hold on a second. You can't break up the game this way. Leave the dice. Leave the dice. Leave the dice. Yeah, all right. Okay. Fine. Here, uh, here. You keep them warm for me, huh? Right. Good luck. I'll see you. Yeah. Boy, what luck that guy's got. Let's go. Let's get our money back. I'll tell you something. Come on. All right, Kirby. There you go. If you want to get in, I'll just come on. Get some money up there, Kirby. I don't think so. I got a feeling the luck stays with the dice. Why, that dirty chiseler, let's get him! <laughs> Harry, have it your way. Hey, Kirby. Yeah? You know that, uh, that fuel I got for your hot shower, I siphoned it out of Harry's truck. <laughs> <laughs> it serves him right. Yeah, I was going to replace it when the fuel truck come in this morning. Uh, could get stuck in the middle of nowhere, though, couldn't he? Well, let him walk. Yeah, it'll do him good to learn how the other half lives. <laughs> hey, uh, Kirby, let me ask you something. How, how'd you know them dice was loaded? I didn't. Because Harry thought I did, though, the way he piled out of here. I want a beer. You want to buy me a beer, Malloy? Uh-uh. You buy me a beer. I'm broke. Are you kidding? I'm cold out here. Let me... Harry really did it, didn't he? Sure did. Time for my Jeep? I'm going to hit the sack. Oh, buddy. And don't forget to come back, huh? You too.
Mr. Merrick, can't you get a story? No, oh, sir. Some creep back there must have stole my gas or something. See, a house, a barn or anything? Yeah, yeah, back the road about 200 yards. Stop, sir. Getting too close. We can't stay here. Come on. Huh? Tech is closed, off. Off, oh, yeah. I will get blankets. Good, yeah. And don't you know it gets around to her saying to me, I want a bowl of chop suey. I said to this tomato, you ain't getting no bowl of chop suey at this time of night, huh? I don't know why I'm telling you. You don't know what a bowl of chop suey means. Ow! You know, I heard about different places around where a cup of soup, just a cup of soup would be welcome, you know? You knock on the door, do you think they'd let you in? You bet your life they wouldn't let you in. Uh, you folks are real nice to let us American fighting men in, welcoming us in with open arms. Yes, sir, you're real good allies. A few years, I'll think back of this little farmhouse, meeting you folks like this. Hey, you know what, you speak real good English. What'd you learn to parley for English like that, huh? Mm, in school. In school, huh? <laughs> Oh, what do you know? I uh, studied English very hard, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, did you ever think about taking a little trip to America after the war, honey? Uh, you know, America. Uh, yeah, that's my dream, Monsieur Harry. But uh, I'm afraid it's an impossible dream. <laughs> no, no, it's not impossible. Nothing's impossible. That's if you have somebody that uh, has a know-how and uh, connections. And believe me, I have. I have a lot of connections. Um, you are um, an important man in America, Monsieur Harry? No, Monsieur Harry. Just Harry White, huh? Uh -huh. Well, if I say so myself, let's just say that Harry White knows how to wheel and deal. Fish day? Uh -huh. And what am I worrying about? Big operator like you ought to be able to rustle up a little gas for a truck, shouldn't he? Well, you sleep three hours, Monsieur. You feel better, yes? Much better. Thanks for your help. Your friend was worried. He told us how he saved your life. Oh, this is my grandfather, Monsieur Giraud. And my name is Claudette. And you're Private Kirby, right? Yeah, that's me. Bouche! The bouche! Ne reviens! Père, grand père, calme-toi, je t'en prie, je t'en prie. Grand-père, assieds-toi. Là, c'est fini, viens dans le pas. C'est bien aussi là pour te protéger, tu sais bien, grand-père. Hmm? All the others in our family are dead. Grandfather cannot accept it. He looks at the pictures and talk to them and ask them to come home. Oh, 
We hear the guns. And grandfather's fears the boat will come back. Oh, look, honey, you don't have to worry about anything like that. It's just a little kraut raiding party. Kirby, our guys will be here in the morning and clear them all out. I'll get some gas and we'll take off, right? Well, um, I'll get the clothes. Add soup, Mr. Kirby. Now you dress, and I will fix you something more to eat. Hmm? with my shirt, will you? You can manage. <laughs> can I, uh, can I help you? Huh? I do not bother, Harry. Oh, uh, there's no bother at all. Uh, listen, uh, in the truck, I got some sugar and coffee and got a couple of bottles of cognac even. <laughs> It's a, uh, it's a rolling commissary, honey. <laughs> You're generous, Harry. Look, uh, why don't the two of us, let's say the two of us walk down to the truck, huh? Let's say she stays in the house, okay? Well, you want her for yourself? How could I hope to beat your time, huh? Honey, what I got in that bag there is Boku valuable. You understand that? You understand? Valuable. What'd you do, catch a paymaster in one of your crap games? Knock it off. What I got in that bag, I got legitimate. You understand it? Harry? No, uh -huh. oh, One no. little drink will hurt you. Well, I, it's very Look, you're, you're a doll. I have Did to you know? go to bed, Harry, please. Please, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, darling, listen. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait a minute, honey. Please, please Harry, no, please. Darling, look. Wait a minute. Darling, listen. Wait a minute. Oh, please, listen, oh, please. Listen. Oh, please. Listen. Oh, wait a minute, darling. Oh, please, Harry. Listen, don't. Wait a minute. Les Allemands ont pénétré les lignes. Oh, Ils envahissent tout le secteur. Qu'est-ce qu'il dit? Il a dit que les Boches ont brûlé dans cette zone. Je n'ai pas dit que je n'ai pas dit que je n'ai pas dit que je n'ai pas Ah, je vais. Claudette et vous devez partir d'ici. Qu'est-ce qu'il dit? Il a dit qu'il faut aller. Maintenant. 
Allez, Harvey Mill, oui? c'est la ville la plus proche de nous par les alliés. Euh, restez dans la forêt. Il y a des tanks bosses sur les routes. Si le bus revient, ils tourneront votre campère. What's he saying now? Well, he said we must go to Wemi. It's uh, the closest town held by the Allies. Yeah? It's about 20 kilometers from here. We must keep to the woods, though, because the, the Bosch tanks are on the road. Well, look, we can get out of here in two minutes, but why do you and your grandfather have to go? Yeah. It'll be a rough trip for him. Well, grandfather was in the resistance. If the Bosch find him, they'll kill him. We're going with you. On va se préparer maintenant. Oh, bon chance. Pas près de les autres. Je m'en vais avertir les autres. Dépêchez-vous. Oui, oui. Mon Dieu, mon Dieu. Ne les pardonne pas, parce qu'ils savent ce qu'ils font. Non, mon Dieu, mon Dieu, écoutez-moi, je vous en prie. Hey, Kirby, look at those crowds. We'll be here any minute. We got to get on the ball. Get out of here. We'll go, we'll go as soon as they get ready. Hey, are you out of your skull? Take an old guy like that and a dame along will never make look, it. They helped us. Now we're going to help them. If you don't like it, go on, take off on your own. You know as well as I'm I not leaving them. It's going to be rough enough going cross country in the snow. You better leave that sack of lead here. This would be the last thing I'd leave. Okay. But if you don't keep up, that's your problem. Don't worry, I'll keep up. No sweat. Claudette! Bring some bed linen, needle and thread. What do you need the bed linen, needle and thread for? Camouflage. <laughs> Well, shoes and socks off. We'll build a fire and try to dry them out. Yours too, they're wet, ain't they? Let me take off my boots, you take off your own boots. You start a fire around here, you'll have every crowd in the area on us. We'll be stuck here running around barefoot if they show up. You ever see a case of frostbite? I've seen frostbite on a rabbit's nose. I've seen guys had it lifted out of foxhole and never walked again. Your arm, it hurts. 
Yes. That's okay. When we move out, Monsieur Giroux rides on your sled. Your bag's got to stay here. This bag goes where I go. It's too heavy. I said the bag goes where I go. What's in it? None of your business. You better believe it's my business if we've got to risk four lives for it. Now open it up, I'm going to blast the lid off it. Your eyes bugged out of the sockets of your head. Because you're going to see something about it. You ain't ever seen before. This is something beautiful, Kirby. Here. You just won't be able to believe it. Ready? Yes. Yeah, now take a look at that. Huh? See it? Ain't it beautiful? You know what it is? Genuine sterling silver. 1790 antique. Genuine antique. Service for 16. And a big gravy spoon, too, huh? Been lugging this around. Evidently, you didn't hear what I said, Kirby. I said it's genuine antique. 1790. Service for 16. Where'd you get it? Oh, don't worry. I paid cash on the barrel head for it. I didn't steal it or anything like that. Now, what are you shaking your head at me? Look, about? I just don't understand. You don't understand what? Look, How could anybody be so stupid? What do you mean, stupid? You're lugging this junk around. Not junk! You're carrying this junk around the whole war for some Jane back home that Not don't some care anything Jane. about. Not some Jane, Kirby. It's for my mother. Do you understand that? It's for my mother. Yeah, she ain't. She ain't had much most of her life, including me. But now she's going to have some. We come from a little town where things like this mean a lot. Well, she's going to have something that means a lot, too. She, she can give a tea party if she wants. And people will be proud to come. I got tea service in there. I got a, a silver set that will knock your eyes out. I got trays. I got a teapot. I got everything. Why, she can play like she's a queen if she wants. Wherever I go. This goes with me. Can't, Harry. We've got to have this lid for the old man. He can't make it without it. Nuts to the old man. You're going out there in the woods and bury this stuff where we can't see you and you can come back for it later. You bury this and you bury me with it. Okay. You pack it, but on your back like you said, okay? Right.
je ne marche pas, je mourrai de froid. Grandfather says, you must walk or it will freeze. Well, you can't say it's me that's holding up the parade this time, huh? What do you suggest, we leave him here? I didn't say leave him here. Just don't say nothing. Put your gear on the sled. Grandfather says we must look for power lines. That will be the way to Amy. He says he must walk. Oh, it freeze. Grandfather's asleep. You better rest some too. I will stay with him. Ow! Ow! It's bad with Harry, isn't it? He's finally in the war. Ow! What is it? It's nothing. Just let me alone. Well, come on now. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I tell you. It's just cold, that's all. You gonna be able to keep up when we move out of here? Sure, I'll be able to move on with the rest of you. It's just cold, I told you. Oh. Oh. It's your feet, isn't it? They feel like they weigh 50 pounds apiece. Oh. Oh. I saw it like this on a rabbit's nose. Kirby, I'll take care of him. Huh? I know something of nursing. You ask then, I'll care for him. You do what you can for him. It hurts. 
hurt. Yes? Yes. Oh! Ow! Oh! That. That silver I showed you. You believe I paid for it, don't you? When you love somebody so much, you don't steal anything like that. You believe that I paid for it, don't you? Yes, Harry. I do. You kind of think he's a hero, don't you? Well, maybe he is. I don't mean to blow my own horn, but if I had to, I could do the same thing. All men cannot be brave the same way, Harry. We gotta go! It feels better now, yes? Thank you. Sorry you have to wake him, Claudette, but we gotta move out of here. He was tired. For a long time, he was tired. the wires. Get ready to move out. Come on, we're going.
Hang on. Get him on a sled. Wait a minute. Just take her and get out of here. You'll never make it with me alone. Let us worry about that. Now, well, listen. Just take the girl and get out of here, Kirby. We'll get you on the jeep. Chances are they won't see you, and we'll circle around and get back to you. Kirby, just keep going. And don't come back. See she gets it. 